Hello everybody, welcome back to uh, Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Last time we finished up with, what is that last place called? Winter Horns. And now we're in Original <laughs> Wasteland. <laughs> nice. What a great name. Alright, that's one rift found. There's like one treasure road found. Is there two searchables or was it just the one? Okay, it was just the one. Now where might there be a second treasure road? Alright, it's neat looking. This game is definitely a lot longer than this is probably the other one, isn't it? Yep. This game is definitely a lot longer than I expected. Especially if you tell me that island, like, back there to the top left is like an actual continent that we get to go to. I mean, yeah, and I, I said this before, like, I'd be okay with that. That'd just be awesome. But at the same time, like, dang. It'd be very unexpected. Alright, I think we're good. I think that's all the, uh, the searchable things. If I'm going to also take a guess, like, this is a level. This is a level. Am I here in an area? Five, right? Kind of boss? Yeah. That's two. And, like, three and probably four and then boss. So let's see, we got the waste where life began. Alright, I get the origin part. So windy and stuff. I turn up my volume and now I can hear myself echo in my headset. So I guess I have to turn it back down. Dang. I mean, all these we gotta find? Only three? Like, really? Oh. Alright. Oh, you get to find these, uh, bigger woofles. Alright. I mean, sure. I oh, like this. The camera can actually pan right now. Man, so we found all the different. Did you respawn? Dad, yeah, you know what? If it means something, it's fine. I was gonna say, like, that probably means we need the ranger ability, but eh, it's fine. It'll be okay. Oh. Alright then. I see. So, we're looking for those. That's probably gonna be the first hidden wall of the question is, is it going to also be the objective or not? Like one hidden wall of the objectives. Did those kaboos respawn? Man, a lot of enemies just randomly respawning here, aren't they? Wait, do they jump? Do these bombs jump or did it just magically get up somehow? I guess it just magically got up somehow. What? That's so weird. Oh god, these things. I don't remember what Kirby game I've seen these things in, but I don't like it. I remember they were very mean. Okay, there we are. That's probably the ranger ability. Figures. Uh, please don't. Okay, well. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's, uh, much appreciated. Still kind of wish that you could, uh, where did this come from? You kind of wish that you could have, like, a little helper and whatnot when you're in single player mode. I still understand why you can't, but really wish you could. Should be nice. Oh. Okay, well, I guess we gotta keep this for a long time then. Is that the first one? Yes. Okay. That means there's probably none that are like. Don't touch this weird goop that's around the place. Because I feel like this would be one of those situations where it would be counted as the uh, first hidden objective. So when you play two player mode, oh. So when you play two player mode, does that make it so. Like, 
Does player 2 count for any objectives that are like, don't get hit and whatnot? Or is it just player 1 that matters in that case? But honestly, I have no idea. On the account that I can't really play 2 player mode. I don't have anyone to do that with. Except myself, which I mean, could probably be possible. Probably. It's not like I haven't played two player two player modes in video games by myself before. So I've I've had pra I've had practice. Especially when it comes to Portal 2. I've done a lot of that once two player mode. Invisible wall. So what is the point of that spot right there then? So I kind of figure probably gonna need tornado for this guy. But what else? Oh, crystal needle blueprint. Okay. This does not help me figure out what the heck I'm supposed to be doing, though. With the, this wild E. Unless this is just where the the final like thing, whatever the heck we're making with the pieces, does. I guess that's possible. Oh yeah, another ranger ability. Oh, and the reason why we need this. All right. So we have to go all the way over there to kill a mid boss. Just for one of these. Alright then. Let's go away. As much as I do like snakes and all, uh, I do not want to deal with you. you. Don't seem very fun to deal with. Defeat the lost Squishy? <laughs> Wait, that's what their name is? They're called Squishy? That's amazing. I like that. Oh wait, no, this is what we need for the one thing. Oh. You can also blow away these little piles of air. Or sand. Alright. Let's for this one. This one we be in actual mouthful mode. This is a weird level. And that's why there's three platforms. Okay. The more you know. I hope that's going to be the first quality, because it'll suck if it's not. Hello. Was there any other snow or sand piles backwards? I don't think there were. Let's just move forwards then to that waddle D. Oh, I guess there's these actually. What's in these? How about this? The giant pillars. Do they fall when I walk under them? Yeah. That's what you kind of figured. They just. I guess I haven't walked under one yet. I thought I walked under. I thought I flew under one of them with the tornado ability already. It's not. Also, do need to go back for the uh, ranger ability. Even though this seems like it'd probably be helpful for. Uh, getting rid of sand without having the mouthful mode. But you know, we need to shoot some, some targets. Granted, I guess they could probably always give us more uh, Bernards for the ranger ability. That's always possible. Anyway, any more, uh, any final Sand piles for us to remove. Yes, no, maybe. Anything about these? Like, I could just step on them or something. It's all three hidden objectives just in this location for no apparent reason. Okay, don't touch the toxic sludge. Got it. Now, I really hope that's not the thing we're supposed to do. 
but I didn't think that standing on this metal ground that doesn't have toxic sludge on it would count as to touching the toxic sludge. Like, I, I feel like that's a reasonable assumption to make, you know? J just a little bit? Maybe just a smidge? I forgot to go back to the ranger ability. After saying that, I should go back for the ranger ability. Gosh darn it. Well, guess we gotta hope for Bernard said. Oh hey, I recognize this scene. I've recently seen ads for specifically this, or that specifically showed this moment, and I would quickly look away so I don't get spoilers. Because I'm trying to spoil as little of this game as possible for myself. Despite playing through it very slowly for uh that was a wall of the air for the this playthrough. Oh I don't see I have tone ability probably. Unless this does its thing. Yeah that, okay no, this this is what's gonna knock it over. Now, if you don't mind, whatever you are, I don't know what these guys are called. I know Burning Leo, but those are not Burning Leo. Hello. That's three capsules in this level already. I mean, alright. I'm alright with that. A little like how they put this Waddle in a chest just to make sure you don't accidentally collect them somehow. And just make it easier to fit them in the pit. Amazing. And this one, oh. Well, I guess that's our third wild E. But where the heck are the targets? It's supposed to still be two more targets for us to shoot. And I have not been seeing them. Unfortunately. Does it reach all the way? Yes. Yes, it does. Ah, darn it. Wow, four capsules throughout this whole thing. Crazy. I don't know what that is, but I guess it's nothing. Alright. Thank you and goodbye. Sweet. Uh I guess we're good to go then, huh? Alright. Oh, I didn't even think about that. We actually did just walk in with, uh, with the mouthful mode. I didn't think that was going to be a thing. I thought maybe it would be like there's just a second one placed down for us to use. But nope. It actually just carries through the door. All I expect is like. Oh yeah, I would like to mention. I'm actually, like, recording this not in the morning of having to, uh, upload again. Because I have to leave for, uh, convention thingy at, like, 10-something. So I, for once, won't have enough time to, uh, record and edit and upload. Wait, wait, hold it, hold on. There's more. Secrets? I know it's the broken fence, the bridge has taught me this, and also the other various levels. Hello, I would like a room, please. Thank you, here's my paperwork. Alright. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. Oh, hey, this is like Mario Party minigame. Now where's the uh, actually important thing that I need? Oh, this is going to get difficult, isn't it? Oh no. Maybe I should go for each and every one. Oh, the crate. Now they're breakable crates. You and me actual thing? Yep. Oh, now we got enemies. Oh boy, stepping it up. You and me actual thing? Yep. Ah, tagging enemies now. Alright, that actually got easier, surprisingly. What the heck? 
Now where are the targets? It's a real question. Also, once again we got another capsule here. That's four capsules. Why? You know... I haven't gotten the secret objective though. Nor have I seen a target to attack. So this is, uh, a little bit worrisome, I would have to say. Hmm. Cause I kinda thought this random secret all the way back here would be, you know, the, the secret objective. But apparently not. I guess we'll just have to see since I have to look for all the targets anyways. Which is going to be such a pain. Nice. Granted, they're probably all in that first area, aren't they? Since the squishy thing is in as a third thing. Defeat? Oh. Really? The hotel means nothing then. Wild Edge. The mysterious vortex brought wild or gigant edge to the new world too. They arrived before Kirby and fell in with the ranks of the Beast Pack. Despite the wild wardrobe drain or change, they really stand out amongst the rest of the packs, but they'll still guard their stations with ferocity. Blake Knight. Surprise alien board. Needle! Ouch! Ouch! Careful with those spikes! Jab enemies in play- Oh wait, we had this- Oh wow, we finally got a repeat! We're actually getting repeats, oh no! Oh gosh, for, for a second I was getting really hopeful that their repeats just weren't a thing until you had all the, the figurines available. But nope. <laughs> I've been proven wrong! That's unfortunate. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh yeah, we still need to do treasure roads, don't we? Alright then. Well. I'll meet you back either when I find some targets that we haven't seen, or when I kill the mid-boss with Rain Mouth. Oh, wait, there's one. I'm glad I followed the smoke. Also did not realize I could turn the camera with the joystick. Yeah, that, that, that was news to me. But, very good news. Okay, so the smoke did not actually lead to the tar next target, it was just a coincidence. Alright then. But that means the third one's probably not too far away, right? Right? Maybe? Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna say it's like... Well, actually, no, this is squishy. I oh, guess there's a chance. Nah, it's not here. Well, in that case, let's just go fight the mid-boss with, uh, Ring Mouth real quick. So I don't know where that third target is. Man, that snake is really hunting me down. Oops. Give me that capsule, though. Because apparently, uh, getting these capsules is going to be even more important than I thought. <laughs> Since... Yeah, it, it, it don't seem like it's going to go too well for, uh... What you call it? For, um... Getting them without repeats. Ow, Ring Mount Kirby does a lot of damage. I also guess that's how you're supposed to get up here with Ring Mount Kirby underneath the staircase. Alright then. Oh, I don't need this anymore. 
So let's continue to look around for that target. I'll meet you when I find it. Oh, he's saying on these. Neat. Oh, there it is. Found it. Okay, I guess I didn't need to do that after all. Since it, that was pretty short. Sweet. And there we go. Got all the targets. Thus, we got all the Waldies. I'll meet you at the end of the level to see what we get from the capsules. I probably won't go back to that hotel. That is, that, that took a little bit of time. And I'm lazy. So, you know. See you there. Oh wow, I, I was actually spamming A to jump there, and it just didn't let me. I also still really like how the, the snake looks like it's wearing headphones, because of the way that it's patterned it. It's great. Anyways, let's see what we got from our capsules. After, you know, we gotta do the dirt dance. Now by ourselves, Just like the good old days. Look at that. I just also noticed it's all just a bunch of threes. How lovely. I'm about to say pair of threes, but that's not how that works. Alright, creepy Bronto Bert. There we go. Chain bomb. Chain your bombs together to explode all of them at once. Hold the button down, aim, and throw to place them. The more bombs you connect, the more damage they'll do. Lightron work sign. Yet another re wow, getting to this continent is terrible. It has now made it so we just getting repeats after repeat. All right, see you all these. Let's go ahead and do a couple of rifts, I guess. Giant or gigant sword slash and slice gigant sword trial. I think it's at a minute twenty is the time to be. All right. Really? That much time on the clock? Alright. Oh, it's like the Meta Knight one. Oh yeah, this doesn't do a spin. Oh, I have super armor also. Neat. So they can act actually can't even hurt me <laughs> while I'm seeing this well out the swing. Well, they probably can if it's a bigger enemy, but... For them, they can't. Not this. Alright, that works. Probably a lot better even. To do it this way. Yeah, no, this this seems like a lot faster than to charge it up. However, this is probably gonna be a fight against Wild Edge, so. Two Wild Edges, okay. sword just does hella damage. And unlike the Meta Knight one, uh, there isn't as much of a chance for me to die. Which makes it crazy that the Meta Knight one showed up before this. Like, the ordering of these treasure roads is kinda confusing. They, like, some of them seem like they should show up before others. Uh, toy Hammer Treasure. Smack to the top, hit the nails. 40 seconds. Alright, see what we got. Oh, I hate this. I've already determined that this is going to suck. 
I saw the special effect and thought that was a, a nail appearing. Man, I shouldn't have questioned what the heck was happening with that spin. What? Oh, I need to die. Cause I was like, man, how am I hitting these guys with the like spin? Because of that I held the button a little bit too long. How much time did we start with? Did I do this in 40 seconds first try, or did I fail? I barely got it. Alright. <laughs> I'll take it. Dang, we're at 13,000. We're about to drop back below 13,000, because we're about to spend, like, I don't know, like 800 or something. To, uh, get the needle ability upgrade. But, you know. Whatever. Man, I don't have Elphalan to tell me when I have something new in the village. This sucks. Like, I like having... Like, that that was the good thing about them. They told me when there's something new in the village for me to uh, go check, so I don't forget. Now my reminder's gone. Because out of all the companions that, that yell at you about stuff, they weren't the worst one. But, but that's also probably because they're not really up and in, in your face about it. Like, literally disabling your ability to play the game to tell you, Hey, you know this thing that you already were told? Let me tell you a third time. Nope, I do not. Still don't want that one. Also, wait a second. What do you mean it doesn't do or have power? It does damage when you wake up. Crystal Needle Blueprint gives a whole bar, or sorry, a whole square and a half more power, no more rapid fire. Like, no extra rapid fire. And we're back below 10 rare stones. Darn. But I mean, hey, as long as we're getting new abilities, I don't mind. Currency does not seem to be of the essence in this uh, game. Like, it seems like it just kind of gets thrown around, and sometimes it literally just grows out of plants, and rubble, and trash. Oh. Interesting. We leave a nice little, uh, trail. Oh, we still break off little crystal pieces. Except, unlike the, uh, trash one, it actually, like, shoots them in a direction, so it's a bit more aimable. Still does absolutely no damage, but hey, at least it's aimable now. However, that's gonna suck, because that just means, uh, that, that just means when we actually get to a treasure road that wants the crystal one, it'll probably be like, hey, fling these, since now they actually go in a direction that you're aiming. But, with that, that appears to be all that there is. Thus, we can, uh... Oh, sink in the water like that. Neat. Thus, that means we could probably end off the episode here. So that'll do it for this episode of Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Next time, we'll head off back to the next level. Also, just realize we can't find any gift codes because of Elf One being gone. Huh. I didn't think about that either. Neat. See you all then. Bye bye.